Hello everybody. Hello year three. I hope that you're all happy and that you're safe at home. I'm working from home as well, just like you, and I've been busy. I want to show you what I've been up to. I've been making Kamiko's house, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of that now. So here it is. Remember, Kamiko's house is in Japan, so I've tried my best to make a Japanese style house. Let's go in and have a look. All right, we come into the dining room. This is where Kamiko would have sat when she wrote that letter to Tomodo and then put her fingers in the sticky rice to stick it onto her window upstairs. Downstairs, we have Arasu's bedroom. This is the bedroom that Kamiko was in before Arasu was born and she had to move upstairs. Mum and Dad's bedroom here next door to that. Okay, let's head upstairs now. Remember in the story when Kamiko's walking up the stairs, her heart beating furiously because she thinks when she gets up to her room, she's going to be eaten by Tomodo. This is Kamiko's room. Okay, out her window, Tomodo sits every night watching her. We'll go out there in a moment. Obasan's room is also upstairs because as you know, Obasan lives with Kamiko and the family too. All right, we'll head outside through the side door. Lots of bamboo. Bamboo is known for growing in the continent of Asia. So I've planted lots of bamboo as well. All right, now here is Kamiko's window. This is where she would have stepped out onto with Tomodo, making her way towards the ledge and then looking down to see Ottawan Arasu's dragon when she found out that they had guardian dragons. I hope you enjoyed my house tour and that you're inspired to do the same thing maybe at home or when we're back at school. Hopefully see you all soon. Stay safe.